Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. And in this video I want to talk to you about uh, pop settings in Exchange 2019. So you may be wondering what I'm referring to. So if I launch my Exchange Management Shell and I do a get pop settings, I specify a server and I format the list. You can see that by default the unencrypted bindings you can see is that IPv6 sorry dot dot not IPv6 um, normal pop secure pop and then what I want to bring to your attention is you will see that the internal connection settings is set to the server on port 995 and 110 but you don't have an external setting and you don't have your SSL certificate specified. Right, and then the last thing is look at your logging. Now, a lot of places use um, basic authentication. So this obviously would change, so users won't get you know prompted continuously. So I put together some commands to show you. And the first command is basically setting the external connection settings. Now you can see I specified pop3 dot my domain. Now you don't have to use pop3, you can call it whatever you want, right? The next step is the internal connection settings, then the login type. And then basically setting services on the server to a certificate to use, right? So I obviously don't have a SSL certificate on my machine. But what I want to show you now is if we go back to the command that we ran, you can now see that it has specified the X509 and specify the external connection settings. Now if we go and do the internal settings on here, uh, come on, sorry about that. Right, now if I go back here, you can now see that these two are pretty much the same, internal, external. My login type is still secure, so if you want to change that to plain text, you can simply type that command, and if we go back to it again, you can now see that this has changed the login type, right? Plain text. And then, obviously, I have this command in here. If you want to go and assign services to a certificate, you could either come here to certificates, so log into the Exchange Admin Center, server certificates, and let's say this was my wildcard, I would, or my SSL, I would double click it, click on services, and then I could specify, for example, pop, and click save, and now it will, you can see that it will now service those different types of services. So essentially, if you had to run this command, you'll pretty much see that it would have assigned it in any way to the certificate. Now, the last step that you need to do is you need to go to your services, right? And if we go to Microsoft, you will notice that pop is set to manual. So you have to change this to you know, automatic. You can script it as well with PowerShell if you need to. And then you'll basically start the services. Now while that is starting, if we head over to the event viewer, and I just want to show you what it does in the event viewer. 
So you just bear with this machine, it's not the fastest in Azure. Right, so see the POP3 service is starting. Now it's wanted to show you it says basic authentication is available over plain text. So you'll always get that warning when the server restarts. Um, the reason why it's complaining is because I don't have an SSL certificate. So those commands will or this error will go away once I rerun it against a valid X509 certificate. And as you can see, it's the same for the back end. It's looking for a certificate as well. But just that you're aware of how the process works. And in the next video, we'll take a look at doing the same thing, but for IMAP. Thank you very much for watching.